Hello, I'm Patrick Collins, Research and Inquiries Officer here at the National Motor Museum. This is the BRM V16 of 1950, my selection from our 50 objects. This impressive looking car is significant because it was the first British Formula One car. Its proper title is the British Racing Motors Type 15, of which this is chassis number one. It's one of just five V16s built. British Racing Motors, or BRM, were formed in the late 1940s to build a car that would challenge the dominant Italian teams in Grand Prix motor racing, which were being run under recently introduced Formula One regulations. The main rivals were Alfa Romeo, Maserati, and a new team called Ferrari. BRM attracted support from across British industry with contributions from leading companies like Rolls-Royce, Standard Motor Company, Rubri Owen, and Lucas Industries. At the heart of the car is the complex 1.5 litre, 16 cylinder, supercharged engine, capable of producing 600 brake horsepower at 12,000 RPM and giving a car a top speed of around 200 miles per hour. Not only does the BRM look impressive, it sounds incredible as well. Among the other innovations were the disc brakes, a first for a Grand Prix car. Like any complex machine, the BRM V16 needed time to perfect. But time was something that BRM didn't have. Formula One rules would change at the end of the 1951 season and the World Championship would be run to Formula Two rules for 1952 and 53 before a new Formula One was introduced in 1954. This left the BRM only able to compete in relatively unimportant non-championship races. Reg Parnell's fifth place in the 1951 British Grand Prix at Silverstone did give just a hint of the potential of these cars, what might have been had they been perfected. This car was the catalyst that led to Britain becoming a dominant force in Formula One and the emergence of teams like Van Wall, Cooper and Lotus in the years that followed. BRM themselves would be back with a string of competitive cars and winning 17 Grand Prix between 1959 and 1972 and taking the Manufacturers and Drivers World Championships with Graham Hill in 1962.